out here today, Komatsu PC210 LCI, intelligent machine control, give you a little bit of a run through on how to, how to set up GPS and how it all works and yeah, how the intelligent machine control is compared to other GPS machines and how the Topcon runs compared to like these, this one, this dozer's got a Leica monitor set up in it but yeah yeah so in the digger now all fired up this is the first screen that pops up so it's got a bit of a 3d um, visual of the digger there and then the side on profile of it and then down the bottom left of the screen you've got a rough and a fine mode which is pretty much just how how accurate the um the visuals are or like more detailed so I usually just run on fine get a better bit of reading from it and then you've got one two second a third and those are just different modes that you can have the screen layout as so you can if you want to change that you can go down into display options and then you can go to screen layout and then you can just go through the different layouts and then you can go through and change if you want to do a 3d plan profile of section for the main screen and then the other ones so gives you a little bit a little bit few uh, a little bit of option for how you want it to look and then also you can also go through and you can change the colors of different um, surfaces and also look if you have like pipes or electrical in the ground, you can change all that through there. The yeah, size so you run off there, so I've got the height indicator on the left side, and then you've got your middle fix, left and right. And I usually just run the middle fix, so that's just where where your bucket will be reading from. Do left, and we'll check on the left hand side of the cutting edge. But yeah, just run the middle, and then you've got your RL, so your elevation. And then how, <clears throat> how far you are from grade there and then yeah the the tin or the um, surface I've got it on right now it's flat so it's running on flat and then you can go through here to adjust your offset so how how high you are off the surface so I'll just go zero and then yeah Oh, this surface I made was three, million, three meters lower originally, so. But yes, if I raise the bucket up, stretch it out a little bit. And also, with these GPS machines, when you turn them on, you have to. That little indication comes up there, and you gotta max out all your hydraulics. So I'll usually put my bucket right up into the air with my hydraulics all maxed out. And then that'll go away just so just to that um i think it's just for the hydraulics to make sure that the gps can get an accurate reading on where the hydraulics are at for the machine control but yeah and then you've also got to turn on your semi-automatic you, you have a trigger on the back of the joystick and tour the monitor as well do that so when it's in manual mode you can get it to, oh, hang on, I'll just zero it off, so where the bucket is now, I'll, I'll actually match it off, sorry, match it off the bucket, and then it has a reading that knows where the bucket is, okay there, and so now I'm on grade for a flat surface there, so I can, when it's in semi-automatic, so, put it semi-auto, and I can just pull back with this joystick, with just a dipper arm, and it'll automatically keep it at that height so it can go up 50 mils or 30 or a bit like that but if it is accurate nice and smooth just like that so it is it's a massive advantage for when you are trimming or using GPS for anything because instead of having to use both joysticks so when you're pulling in you usually have to adjust your main boom up but with the intelligent machine control 
you can just keep it on autom or semi-automatic and then it'll help you hold your grade so it's built one stick there it keeps it adjusts it yes yeah, so the faster you go the less accurate it can be but yeah so this is the i think this might be 1.0 for the intelligent machines the 2.0s have an auto tilt because on these ones yeah when you tilt tilt the bucket buckets like that but it still thinks that it's flat so you won't get an accurate reading but the new ones tilt it will tilt automatically when you're pulling in and then once you lift up it'll go flat again but yeah that's pretty much a little bit of a run through on how to run it I'll do another video at some point on uh, how to set up a surface to, ma to make like a new plan but yeah that's basic run through on how it, how it all works and how it can help make make life a whole lot quicker when you're needing to trim up something really quick or just checking checking heights with the GPS big advantage with that but yeah thanks for watching